Hi, welcome back to Live and Breathe Horses. So today we're going to start a new little series all about lightness. So we're going to explore that a bit in depth. We're going to look at what do we mean by that? Why do we want to do it? And how are we going to achieve it? And then we'll have some practical exercises and things. But today I would like to start off with the foundation of lightness in our horse, which of course has to come from ourselves. Oh, here comes my horses. Hello, horses. <laughs> Little Bing, are you hiding behind me? You gonna come to say hello? You come to say hello before big bully boys push you out of the way. And you're interrupting the video here. So it starts with ourselves. And lightness, of course, has to start with a firm foundation. You know, something can't be light if it's not got a steadiness and a strength behind it. Like you, Biscuit, you're very grounded, aren't you? So, <laughs> we're going to just do a little exercise together. Rather than talk about it, it's better always to do it when we can. So, we're going to start with a few breaths. Nice, long breaths. You know, the breathing is my favourite tool for transforming everything. And as you breathe, it allow your awareness to come down into your feet, wiggling your toes, feeling the ground and just move around on your feet. So like you're a tree swaying in the wind, but your roots down into the ground stop you being wobbly. So you're flexible, but also firm at the same time. So that's it. Keep on with those nice soft breaths, feeling the ground, and then imagining there's roots growing down from your feet into the ground. And go with that tree analogy, if that makes sense to you. Otherwise, just imagine yourself energetically connected to the ground. And then we're going to separate a bit from the waist. So from the waist down, we're going to have that feeling of being grounded and rooted to the ground. And from the waist up, we're going to imagine we're opening and lifting. So this is a very natural thing. We have gravity holding us down and postural reflex lifting us up. That's what keeps us upright, actually. So... <laughs> <sighs> nice long breaths. And as you feel that firm groundedness, feel a lightness in your upper body. And that is the kind of lightness we need to have in ourselves physically to be able to be light with our horse. You know, there needs to be, as I said, a firmness and stability behind the lightness. You know, if it's just all ooh, light and airy and fluffy, it does not um, help with the horse. So that's the physical side of it. And of course, very linked to that. I mean, you practice that exercise. I practice that often. It's a lifelong practice, I think. You know, I love this, passionate about it, teach it and still have to <laughs> remind myself. So of course, everything's connected, the physical, the emotional, the mental. So even as I do that, you maybe immediately start to feel a bit different. So being light is also mentally, it's very much about being present, not being stuck in the head and overthinking, you know, when we're like, ah, and thinking about this and thinking about that, blah, 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 blah. It's very hard to have a lightness in our work because we're not, you know, we're not present and all that thinking, I'm convinced, um, the horses hear that like noise and it's um, upsetting and distracting to them and tends to make them just shut down. And of course, when the horse is shut down and go, oh God, this human's too much for me, um, then it's very hard to have lightness. So it's good to be aware, you know, where we're at, what we're thinking, what's going on in, in the head. And uh, <laughs> just observe that and say, okay, I can let that go right now. Don't lead that at the moment. Again, it's a lifelong practice, but it's very good to be aware, you know, where are we at physically? What am I thinking? What's going on in my mind? And how am I feeling? You know, where am I at? And that's the other part of it. You know, we've all been around people and we all have these moments ourselves of, you know, just not feeling good. And then you feel heavy. You know, you can walk away from an interaction with someone sometimes just with a feeling of heaviness. And other people I might uplift you and lighten you. And of course, that could be the same person. Umo, I've got a horse sneaking up the back of my camera again here. That takes a lot of practice, but I really believe it's the foundation of the lightness. And that's, you know, it has to start with us. Exactly, Umo. That's always a good one. 
to get um, lightened up <laughs> and present and grounded, you know? It's like, poof, we call that letting go of the butterflies with the horses, don't we? So it's a good one to do with ourselves. So, um, yes, have a little go with that exercise. See how that feels. I'd love to hear your comments. And if you have any questions about that, please don't hesitate to get in touch. You can leave a message below or the contact details are also in the description. And next time we will go on with our exploration of lightness. So thank you very much for joining me today. Keep tuning into the light and I'll look forward to see you next time.